if you are planning on using classes that currently do not exist in the Android platform but you can find them in the support libraries you first need to make sure the support libraries are available doing so is fairly simple just start the Android SDK manager and verify that the Android support library is installed in addition if you are using the Android Studio make sure the file build.gradle the one that uh, is specific for your project is updated with uh, this specific line which tells Gradle to use the support uh, library version 7 in addition if you plan specifically to use classes that are not automatically available such as the recycler view make sure you add the specific lines for those classes here in this code sample we are going to use the recycler view so I added this specific line to the dependencies in the Gradle build file the manifest file of the application is fairly simple this code sample includes one activity so we have the application XML element with one child the activity child that uh, defines the activity we have in this code sample the one and only the activity is a main activity so there is a class its name is main activity that extends activity and over here we can find it and going over the code you can find that we have an XML document that describes the layout of the activity here we specify that we want the layout to be the one that is described by this uh, XML element and over here I assign a view with the reference for the recycler uh, view object we get when the application is running if you go over the XML document that describes the layout you can see that we have a very simple user interface that um, includes a, a recycler view we create the recycler view using this uh, XML element here we specify the ID we want this uh, view to have as a resource we specify that we want the recycler view to stretch all over the screen to have its width and height matching the parent the parent is the relative layout that fits the entire screen we want the scroll bar to be vertical and over here we refer another XML document recycler view item layout that describes the layout of each one of the uh, elements each one of the items the recycler view as this is a very simple uh, XML element that includes the use of a linear layout and text view on it so that each item in the recycler view will have a, a, a user interface we have a layout described by this document so that each element in the recycler view will be a simple linear layout with a text view on it over here we get view assigned with the reference for the recycler view that is um, created instantiated when the application is running all that because of this XML document and then we invoke the set as fixed size passing over true to set that we want uh, the size to be fixed without uh, changing over here we set the layout manager of the recycler view here we handle the decoration of each item the way each item will be displayed um, with some sort of decoration around it and here using a, an adapter an object that is instantiated from a class we define separately a class that is defined as a class that extends recycle view dot adapter 
here using an object of this type we actually uh, um, configure the recycler uh, view element we are using. Going over the code of simple recycler adapter we can find that we define our class a class that will be instantiated in order to get an adapter for the recycler view we define the class as a class that uh, extends recycler view dot adapter adapter is an inner class a static inner class defined within a recycler view it is a generic type and we need to specify the type um, that objects uh, of that type are repre represent each one of the items um, the recycler view and uh, display so I specify element view older it is an inner class I defined within the simple recycler adapter over here I define that class as a class that extends uh, recycler view dot view older so that each object instantiated from this class will uh, uh, represent the data of a specific item and the item out of those items the recycler view displays um, over here you can find that the simple recycler adapter class I have just uh, defined uh, includes the definition for callback functions on create view holder, on bind view holder. There is also the get item count that should uh, return the number of uh, elements in total the adapter uh, holds. And these callback functions are, are not functions that we uh, write code that invoke them the code that invoke um, those uh, methods, those callback methods uh, is mainly located within the, the class that uh, describes the layout manager as you can recall from the overview for using the recycler view each recycler view also has a, a layout manager it can be an object instantiated from linear layout manager a class that already exists or we can also define our own customized layout manager now this specific object that uh, takes care after uh, the the layout the, the layout of each one of the elements is also the object that takes care after coding these uh, callback functions on create view holder when there is a need in an object that uh, uh, represents a specific uh, item on bind view holder when a specific object that represents um, a specific item can be recycled and be filled with the data of another element from those elements we uh, eventually want the user to see to browse to scroll through the recycler viewer executing this code sample this is the result we get In order to see the recycling in action, let's add these uh, two lines and let's execute again our code. Track the log messages. As you can see, I have just uh, created a filter that will show just uh, those log messages with the tag recycle and as you can see we currently have um, the application up and running and we can see that over here we have um, invocation of on create view holder Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, and as well as uh, of invocation of on bind view holder. Now, if I try to go through the elements, I can see that I have more invocations of uh, on create view holder and on bind view holder. And as you can see, at some 
at some point we no longer see the invocation of on create view holder just the invocation of on bind view holder which means that the recycling takes place and the performance improves <laughs>